What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today I'm going to be upgrading the RAM on my brand new 5K iMac. Everybody knows Apple charges an arm and a leg to upgrade RAM when you order. So I got the base model with 8 gigs of RAM and we're going to jack that up to 32 gigs of RAM. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so first we're going to start off by looking at our specs on this computer. And like I said, we're running base model 8 gigs of RAM and we're going to jump that up substantially. Right now we're only using two slots with four gigs each. We're going to use all these slots with these crucial memory sticks here that are eight gigs each, 16 in each package for the grand total of 32 gigs of RAM. Now these will be, um, you can get them from multiple sites. I'll leave the Amazon link where I bought mine down below. You're looking at $114 to $120, depending on the price when you actually look. Well, in my opinion, is a fantastic deal for what you're getting, when, especially when compared to Apple's prices. So here, what I've done here is, I got this from Danny Wingett uh, when I watched his video on his iMac. And what it is, is you open every app on your computer at once. Highlight them all in your applications folder and the finder, and then just hit open. And I've actually sped it up, but the timer uh, is giving you the real time that it actually took to open every app on this Mac. And this is after I've been using it for a few weeks, so I've had a few things on here like Final Cut and a few other things. But here you can see we're looking at 3 minutes and 17 seconds. So it doesn't seem like a long time, but trust me, I sat here through it, and it was quite a long time. Um, and hopefully we'll improve on that by the end of the video. And here we'll just power off our iMac, shut everything down, unplug it from the wall, because you're going to actually need access to that plug area, but you, wanna, you want it unplugged when you're doing anything with the computer anyways. But here is your release button hidden above the power supply port. And you can use anything to open it, a small Allen wrench, a pen, anything. I used this plug, this USB wall wart that I had laying around, I think from my Nexus 7. And then that's it. It just releases it and it comes out as a hole. It doesn't hinge. And then right on the back, it's actually printed exactly what to do to remove the RAM and how to reinstall it. And all you have to do is pull on those two tabs. They have arrows to tell you to pull them to the side. And it drops the whole bay down. I mean, this could not be any easier. So we'll remove the two 4 gig sticks that came stock from Apple, and these are them. Nothing fancy, just two gigs or two sticks of RAM. Now here's a closer look at the actual bay looking through the stand through the back of the iMac. And as you can see on the right, it's actually offset. So you really cannot put these in wrong, but don't force it if it doesn't seem to be going and you know you're not 100% sure that you put it in the correct orientation. But if you have put it in the correct orientation and you're sure of that, it is gonna take a little bit of force. And here you can see I'm holding on the bottom of the iMac to get some leverage and I'm just making sure it's in. But really extremely simple. If you were gonna rate computer upgrades from one to 10, this is super, super novice and only takes like a one of experience. And there you go, you just push those two ports, uh, the two pins back in, reinstall your plate on the back, your cover, and that's it. I mean, you know, you've upgraded the RAM from eight gigs to 32. So you've, you've put some beast into this, this uh, machine. So here again, we'll check out the uh, specs. Everything looks a little smaller now because I'm running in 5K. So, uh, but there you can see it's 32 gigs of RAM and we're using all four ports, eight gigs at each port, so it is now maxed out. Uh, that is the maximum that you can put in. Now I'm also doing that open every app again test. And remember at the beginning we were at 317, three minutes and 17 seconds. So again, I've sped this up, but that is the real time counter there at the bottom. And you will see we have improved by a little bit, which, uh, it's one minute, uh, one minute, two seconds, but to me, that's pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to the channel, make sure you slap that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed these kind of videos, let me know in the comment section below if there's any questions you have about what I did or any questions about the 5K iMac, leave it down in the comments. If you guys would like to see a full review of the 5K iMac, leave that down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.